What uh, is there a favorite story or memory that comes back? Uh, gee, I don't know. I can't really think of anything favorite about it. Yeah. Well, what made you uh, choose Marines? Vietnam, sixty-nine, seventy. Oh wow! What did you do there? Were you what? Uh, what unit were you with? Hotel Two Five, First Marine Division. Good. Where were you stationed out of? Uh, Anwa, in Vietnam, just uh, about twenty-five, thirty miles southwest is the name. Good. Okay. Anwa Combat Base. Yes, sir. And I was well, in the infantry. Well, welcome home. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Where, where after your tour in Vietnam, where'd they send you? Uh, well, I went, I went out to Camp Pendleton for about six months before I got out. I was with uh, Kilo Three Three Fifth Marine Expeditionary Brigade there. Good. Yeah. What did you decide to do when you, uh, well, in your civilian career? Uh, after I got out. Well, I went home to St. Louis for uh, about 20 days or something and kind of got bored at home. So I, me and a friend hitchhiked to New York, and I got a, first I got a job as a store detective at Corvettes up there yeah. in Herald Square. And I did that for about seven months, and then I found out about a job at the United Nations in security. So I left Corvettes and went and worked at the United Nations because it was a lot more money than being sure. a store detective. <laughs> yes, sir. How long yeah. did you work with the U.N.? Uh, about four years, and then kind of got homesick for St. Louis, so I left there and came back to Missouri. And From there, I went down Lake of the Ozarks. What did you do then? Uh, I had a bunch of different jobs there. Uh, worked at a couple different uh a couple of different resorts, lodges, four seasons, and Tantera, and mm -hmm. worked worked a couple of lumber jobs. I was at lumberjack for a while, and yeah. worked at a sawmill for a while, and then I went to a uh, boat mechanic school down there, and so I was a boat mechanic at a couple of different marinas down there, and then uh, ended up coming back coming back to St. Louis after about four or five years down there. What did you do back in St. Louis? Uh, well, I sold real estate for four or five years, and then uh, I got a job at the um, Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program in St. Louis, and I worked at, ended up working there for about eight years Good. Good. until I retired. That's great. Helping other veterans, yeah. So, yeah, I... Uh, Worked a lot of different jobs, but after Vietnam, everything just <laughs> got boring. Yeah, I can understand that. Well, did you, um, when did you join the VFW? Oh, gee, uh, I guess I first joined uh, right after I got back from Vietnam. I, uh, Grandpa and my uncle were in the VFW down in Fredericktown, mm -hmm. so uh, got in that post down there, and then uh, I think they transferred up to uh, to the one in Arnold, so then I transferred to the one in Arnold for a while, and then my brother-in-law, Jim Farmer, was in the post down here in uh, Farmington, so then when... When my wife and I moved down to Park Hills, we transferred to the one down in Farmington. Good. Good deal. Did you ever hold any offices in your post? Oh, no. I'm not, not really active in it. Yeah. Did you get to meet some good friends there over the years? What? Did you meet some good people, maybe make some new friends over the years through the BMW? Well... My brother-in-law. Yeah. Good. Jim yeah. Farmer. But yeah. uh, other than that, like I say, I don't, you know, I don't go, to, I don't get out and go to any meetings. I'm old and disabled and on oxygen now, so I don't okay. get out. I don't get, get out hardly at all now. Did Did you were you able to stay in contact with some of the people that you served with in the Marines? 
Yeah, uh, I still talk to uh, two or three guys that I was over in Vietnam with, and then uh, in in '83 I uh, got on active reserves. Yeah, I did that. I did that for a couple of years, and then transferred over to um, like individual red reserves. Yes, sir. And did that to '95, and here well, a year or so ago, I got. Got in contact with like three of the guys I was on active reserves with, so I'm still in contact with them now. Oh, that's good. That is good. Yeah. yeah. A couple well, of them came down here last year and we all went out to lunch. That was that was pretty neat. Yeah. Hadn't, had, hadn't seen them in you know twenty years. You know that's great to be able to reminisce like that and meet old old buddies, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Terry, I want to. Is there anything else you'd like to add that I don't have the right questions for? Uh, not that I can think of. Okay. Oh, well, I want to thank you for sharing your story.